Okay, so um, I'm just going to share a page that I'm going to do with um, in my Bible, some Bible art journaling, and um, I've already prepared the the page that uh, I'd like to work on. So uh, with the gesso, so I'll just turn back a couple of pages and do just a random area so that you can see how the gesso works. Now I just get a normal brush and I keep my gesso in a squirty bottle thing that just used to hold a condiment of some sort and um, all I do is just it's a fairly thin gesso and I do it quite roughly but at the same I just make sure I cover all the area so that there is a nice coating on it now you can, um, when I'm feeling a bit more um, energetic about it all, I put a piece of baking paper underneath the page and uh, it'll protect the underneath ones. But if you're just dragging it straight off in a thin layer, you really don't have too much mess. So that's it. You can still see the text through it. And you can see it doesn't really wrinkle the page. It does something to it. It, it layers a like a plasticky sort of feeling to the the edge, and it it feels um, stronger when it's dried. Um, I just rinse my brush out in water. You don't want to leave gesso on your brush, so I just wash the brush out, and then I um, get my heat gun. If you're not really good at waiting, and you just dry it off. So the heat and the drying aspect makes it curl up a little bit, but as soon as you shut the book and um, just let it sit shut, it um, you can see you know where the gesso has been. And this one uh, opens a little bit of that page there because of my little wax paper insert. But um, you just let it sit on the heavy side down, and then the next time you open it, it'll be nice and flat to work on. So that took like two minutes to put it on and to dry it um, and you're ready to go. So that's why my choice of coating the page to prevent any bleed through is gesso. So let's get moving on with the, um, with the project.